then you better damn well watch The Man Show with Adam Carolla and Jimmy Kimmel. 30 minutes of beer commercial fun. Wednesday nights at 10.30 after South Park, only on Comedy Central. Hi, I'm Denzel Washington, and you're watching Comedy Central. <laughs> the team that's always there for you when you go down versus a team that spends way too much time on their palm pilots that's right it's lifeguards versus computer geeks on versus and now a man who's got a jack up his sleeve and an ace in the hole your host Greg Proves. Tiny Punishment Ponies, and welcome to Versus, the show that brings together two rival teams and pits them against one another in mortal intellectual combat. Today, it's guys who'll get you out of the surf versus guys who surf the net. Clang. We've met the teams. Now let's dunk the players, Joe. First, there's Crawford. He originally became a lifeguard because of his love for Billy Ocean. Then there's Michael. He'll give you mouth to mouth as long as you're really cute. Finally, there's Greg. When he's not lifeguarding, he's at home waxing his board. There they are, the lifeguards! Scott loves the internet for all the informative sites. Plus, there's tons of porn. Yeah. Before he became a computer geek, Josh was just a regular geek. <laughs> and finally, there's Tony. His motto is, any cereal port in a storm. <laughs> and those are the computer geeks. <laughs> oh, Greg. Yeah, Joe. Which way to the beach? <laughs> that way. <laughs> All right, let's let the games begin. But first, we must discuss Scott. Do you ever go to the beach, dude? The beach, yes. I've surfed there many times from my desk. Ah, oh, absolutely. Uh, so, friends? Friends? Yeah, do you have any? Tony, John. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Greg, it's, this Greg, this it's all right here. This is my social circle right here. Yeah. You guys this just travel it. together, huh? No, exactly. You, you got to quit hassling Agent Scully. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, Crawford. Do you have a computer? Uh, no, I pretty much hate computers. Oh, do you? Can you can you operate one then? I can I can play video games. You can play. <laughs> well then, there's a bragging point. We're gonna start off with some general knowledge questions. Everyone has a chance to ring in, and every correct answer is worth over one million piasters. If you get it wrong, don't freak. You won't lose any points, but the other team will have a chance to confer and take away your dosh. All eyes gaze in breathless wonder at the immense majesty of the versus board. Here is our first subject, which is current events. Uh, and the categories B, help me Rwanda, and <laughs> Mushu now, your sweet and sour porking days are over. All right. <laughs> Lifeguards, you won the coin toss. It's your shout first. Greg, I dig your name. Greg, you pick, Greg. Um, we'll take Mushu now. Your sweet and sour porking days are over. All right, then. In 1997, what Chinese port city reverted from British control to Chinese rule? Greg. Shanghai. Is incorrect. It's Tony. It's Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. I think that... The British would be very excited to know that they still controlled Shanghai. <laughs> Here's our next question. In 1994, the government of Rwanda was taken over by the Rwandan Patriotic Front, which was comprised mostly of what ethnic group? Yes, these were current events, ladies and gentlemen. Did he make it, Andrew? He did not make it. Tutsi, Tutsi, the Hutus and the Tutsis. Remember? Remember the news when it comes on and you're there and your bong is so close and then... 
just whatever, you know. espn 2's got ladies basketball on. All right, here we go. Our next subject, which is feud. And the categories are that championship seasoning, or we could be heroes just for one day. <laughs> Who was it? Uh, Tony, my friend, you choose. That championship seasoning, Gregory. What dried herb, often used in pizza and spaghetti sauce, is less commonly known as wild marjoram? Michael. Basil. Basil. Whoa, two people named Michael, and you're both wrong. Okay. <laughs> Geeks, you get to confer. Okay. What's your... Yes? Our answer is oregano. Oregano is absolutely right. <laughs> and don't be fooled. Oregano does not come in a Ziploc bag, dudes. All right. Here's our next question. Traditionally, what type of meat is used when making a hero? Michael. Beef and Ooh. lamb. Can we take that? We can. Lamb is right. <laughs> and the lifeguards are out of the water. Here's our next subject, which is astronomy. And the categories are tomorrow's forecast, sunny with a high of 800. And I'll never forget the smell of that first summer's eve. Michael. <laughs> Being a lifeguard, I'll have to go with I'll never forget the smell of that first summer's eve. Yes. <laughs> It's a memory we all have. Here we go. What is the astronomical term for the first day of summer in which the sun is at the greatest distance north of the celestial equator? Robert. Solstice. Is right. Yeah! Next question. With a mean solar distance of 36 million miles, what is the closest planet to the sun? Robert. Mercury. Mercury is yeah! correct. Nip and tuck, tuck and nip. The mouse and the sex wax. Here we go, our next subject, the Civil War. And the categories are President of the Dysfunctional States and be patient, honey, I'm waiting for the South to rise again. Crawford. I've been waiting for the South to rise for a while. All right, then, we shall continue waiting. In the Civil War, what Union general became famous for his march to the sea across Georgia? Crawford Sherman is right. Yeah. Astronomy and history for Crawford rolling on. In 1861, what former U United States Senator left Congress to serve as President of the Confederacy? Greg. Robert E. Lee. That is incorrect. <laughs> Computer geeks, <laughs> have you an answer? Scott. Stonewall Jackson? No. <laughs> Clearly a guess. <laughs> but a name reminiscent of that era. Jefferson Davis. Jefferson oh, Davis. Davis. Yeah. And for those of you watching in Alabama, yeah, Davis, of course. Yeah, exactly. For those of you watching in Montgomery, I'm sorry, they're from California. They don't know. <laughs> All right, that's the end of round one. The lifeguards at 400, the geeks at 200, but stick around because when we get back, we're going to freak hard. Uh, In a world with no news, finally, The Daily Show. Well, when we first started, uh, news would happen, but no one would know. We set out to change that. The FBI has announced they are looking for a man known as the Unabomber. Thank you. We knew there had to be a better way. Bill Clinton announces giant budget surplus. From now on, ladies drink free. <laughs> as far as I know, we're still the only game in town. The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, Monday through Thursday at 7 and 11, only on Comedy Central. Happening again. Where's it centered? I got it. It's centered on Elwood Drive. Go, go, go! Back. All civilians back. 2.7. Yeah. 2.9. Oh, I'm feeling it. Go, move it. Go, go, go. Yeah! Oh! I just saved hundreds of dollars by switching to Geico. Yeah! Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. These days, it seems like everybody's got a Cherokee or an Explorer. Me? I like to stand out a bit. That's why I drive a Subaru Outback. With a big cargo bay and all-wheel drive, you get all the sport utility you need. But with a smooth ride and better gas mileage, the Outback is far from ordinary. Like me, really.
What a weird looking bunch that was. I'm not a person who rushes into things until they're great. Like this new fabric spray, Resolve Fabric Refresher. It gets rid of odors safely and permanently and dries faster than the leading brand. See, Resolve has this quick drying spray that removes the toughest odors with a gentle mist. Your sofa's not only fresh smelling, in minutes it's dry. New quick drying Resolve Fabric Refresher. Why wait? It's in your laundry aisle now. I am Gunter. This is my film, Quick Tool. I love story. You lie? I don't care if you lie! Quick 2 for Nintendo 64 on PlayStation Game Console. Welcome back to Versus, everyone. I'm Bud Collier. After the general knowledge round, the lifeguards lead 400 to 200. Now the questions are going to focus on both of your very, very different worlds. Although when you think about it, yeah, they're pretty different. All right, there are five <laughs> questions written for each team. If you answer a question in your category, will Hifty Nifty Skipper do? And if you answer a question from the other team's category, it's worth 400 clams. A wrong answer will cost you $200. This is a timed round, so strategy may be employed. Since the computer geeks are behind, you may choose from your side of the board, or you may rip over into the lifeguards area and grab their lotion off the towel. Here are the choices. Lifeguards who don't want you to go drown on them, and don't just grab my joystick, cradle my trackball, all right. <laughs> yes, it's the single on that lights this crowd up like a taper. Scott. Yes, sir. It's down to you. Well, we're gonna go with don't just grab my joystick, cradle my trackball. Here we go. Who's the busty archeologist heroine of the Tomb Raider video game series? Scott. Lara Croft. Is right. <laughs> New category, internet, 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 I'm pronouncing it French, internet lingerie shows, or the sound of une hand clapping. Scott, it's still yours. We'll go with that one. All right, here we go. On February 3rd, 1999, 1 1.5 million people logged onto the internet to watch a fashion show given by what lingerie company? Scott again. Victoria's Secret. Is right. Pressing the button with a fervor that indicates you perhaps attended that show. Here's our next category, which is, it was Mrs. Gates who came up with the nickname Microsoft. Scott. It was Mrs. Gates who came up with the nickname Microsoft. Here we go. From which U.S. state does Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates rule his evil empire? Uh, <laughs> dude. I have to say Washington. Washington is correct, Josh. New category, downloading in the Oval Office. Josh, it's your ball now. You know what? I'm going to take him down. Lifeguards who don't oh, want you to yeah. go drown on them. You heard the man. He's going to take you down. Here we go. What nonprofit organization, founded in London in 1844, will certify city folk and village people alike to be lifeguards. Crawford. Red Cross. No, that's not what I have here. I'm going to call that incorrect. And the computer gates huddle. Soon we'll know what their answer is. Gentlemen? We pass. You pass? I f***ing hate it when people pass. It is so pussy to pass. The YMCA, that's where the village people clue came in. That's all right. Two minutes left, new category for the lifeguards, which is when Pamela Anderson got David Hasselhoff. There we go, Josh, it's you. Downloading in the Oval Office. You're moving over. Back to the computer geek area. Here we go. Which political leader is credited with coining the term information superhighway? Michael. George Bush. No. Al Gore. Al Gore is correct. Yeah. That's how it goes. 
In George Bush's day, they used steam-powered computers. Here is the next category. Unfurnished mouse pads for rent, Scott. Unfurnished mouse pads for rent. Here we go. Last question in your category. What company invented the high storage capacity zip drive? Scott. IOMEGA. Is right. There are no questions left in the computer key category. They're all lifeguard questions. One minute left. Here we go. In the early years of Baywatch, what was the name of the perky character played by Pamela Anderson? Tony. CJ. Is right. New category. I second that e-lotion. Here is the question. Now using vitamin E in its lotions, what company once featured a nude little Jodie Foster in ads to hawk its sunscreen? Josh. Tropicana. No, that's incorrect. Lifeguards. Uh, Coppertone. Is absolutely correct. It's on the block. 30 seconds left. Not much time. New category. Licking your undertow. Here's the question. Also called an undertow. You're supposed to swim parallel to the shore if you get caught in what? Crawford. Rip current. It, yeah, that's enough. Rip tide is all right. New question. One more question left. New category. Reading between the bikini lines. Here's the question. What swimsuit company sponsorship agreement makes them the official swimwear of the Los Angeles County lifeguards? Michael. Speedo. Is right. That's how it ends. Every question down at the end of round two. Geeks roaring ahead, 1,400, lifeguard 600. When we come back, mayhem. Stay there. You're watching Comedy Central. Up next at 5.30, it's a stand-up special, followed by Saturday Night Live at 6, and The Daily Show with Jon Stewart at 7. and organic herbs. So you just can't help but be noticed. Herbal Essences from Clairol. A totally organic experience. If you're looking for a direct TV system, the best place to buy one is Circuit City. We'll help you get exactly the right satellite system for your home. Enjoy over 40 channels for just $19.99 a month with select choice programming from Direct TV. And right now at Circuit City, you'll get a free self-install kit, a $50 value. Or we'll come out and professionally install your new system for just $99. Our knowledgeable sales counselors can answer all your questions. So check out Direct TV today at Circuit City. Coming up on a very extra special episode of Strangers with Candy. Friends are hard to find when you're the oldest freshman at Flat Point High. Maybe Saturday we can go to uh, Mini Strokes and play some putt putt. Oh yeah, maybe not. But how far will Jerry go to be popular? Street name's Flint, but it's also known as Glow, Glimmer, or Satan's Hair Lip. It's the episode you'll want to watch with the whole family. Strangers with Candy, the after hours after school special. Tonight at 10, only on Comedy Central. The population of our planet is 52% women, 48% men. That means men are a minority, a minority with a voice that demands to be heard and issues that must be addressed. Now that I'm older, nothing even comes close to the thrill that a dirty magazine would send through my 14-year-old body. It was a magical time for my wiener and I. Let freedom ring. The Man Show, 30 minutes of beer commercial fun, Wednesday nights at 10.30 after South Park, only on Comedy Central. Welcome back to Versus. I'm Sam Elliott. <laughs> oh, you better stay out of that part. <laughs> Riptide over there. It all comes down to this round, ladies and gentlemen. The geeks lead the guards. The winners keep their cash. The losers go home broken and with little hope. But with a trunk full of what, Joe? Well, each loser will receive from Cobra. It's their 14-channel walkie-talkies. Ultra compact, goes anywhere with a two-mile range. Incoming call alert lets you know when friends or family are calling. From Cobra.
Joe. Yes, Greg. It lets you know when friends or family are calling, but mm -hmm. what about like a stalker? No, no, sorry. Uh -uh. Oh, and by the way, there's a woman with a rag doll here, so okay. she knows you. All right, you just keep her on hold. All right. All right. Now, boys, this is how we do it. You're representing for lifeguards everywhere. You're representing for computer geeks everywhere. And maybe one day they'll shed the name geek and just become computer master. All right. This is how it goes. Each of you will get three questions, and that's it. Ring in as soon as you think you know what that answer is. If you get it right, 250 clams. If you get it wrong, we take away 250 clams. All of the questions in this round may be answered by one of these three choices. CPR, CPU, or CPK. CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. CPU, the central processing unit, that's a computer term. And CPK, of course, the delicious California pizza kitchen. <laughs> this is how we play Versus, boys. Originally created by two former federal prosecutors. Lifeguard. CPR. No, I'm afraid not. Tricky one, this. <clears throat> Um, CPK. Is correct. Yeah! First created in 1971 by a then unknown company called Intel. Lifeguard. C CPU. Is right. Tandoori chicken should always be removed from the mouth while performing. Yes. CPR. Is right. That's how it works. Moving on. <laughs> oh, they're not booing them. They're geeking them. Here we go. Its performance is rated according to clock speed. Geek. CPU. Yes. Yeah. Crash victims should take special care as they may... Yes. CPR. No, I'll finish. As they may have to reboot it when it goes down. CPU. Is right. Yeah. You may find it hard to breathe after eating too much of their original barbecue... Yes. CPK. Is right. That's how it works. Moving on. <laughs> Geek. Domination, last round. As part of its training program, you get to practice on Annie. Lifeguard. CPR. Right. Functions according to the ROCK system for respect, opportunity, communication, and yes. CPK. Is right. You should keep careful count of your compressions when performing it. Geek. CPR. Is right. That's how it goes. The computer needs to win. Take the kiss me signs off their back. When we come back, we're gonna rock and roll. Oh, yes, we will. You just lay there. Next time on Comedy Central versus. It's blondes versus brunettes in a cerebral combat that pits blonde hair against brown hair. Watch Versus tomorrow at 5, only on Comedy Central. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's my wedding anniversary. <clears throat> I want to see you do the Bradway wedding anniversary monkey dance. <laughs> You're not married. You're 15. This is ruining my birthday. Where's my side of fun? I don't need this crap. Remember, this is a happy, good time place? This is humiliating. Do the stupid monkey dance by yourself. <laughs> Upright Citizens Brigade. Dangerous sketch comedy. New episode tonight at 10.30, only on Comedy Central. I'm weird. I'm weird. No. You're quirky. This Friday, Julia Roberts, Richard Gere. I like his tight butt. In the most talked about reunion of the year, Runaway Bride, rated PG, this Friday. Folks, your colonel's shaking things up with my new extra crispy chicken. Right now, get eight pieces plus six of my honey barbecue wings, just $9.99. That price ain't gonna last, so shake a leg. Okay, if I eat the last Brazil nut? Knock yourself out, pal. Guys, look. What is that thing? Oh, it's a Dryocopus pileatus. A dry what? It's a woodpecker. Oh, yeah. Why don't you say that? Hey, you think you'll eat a cashew? No, woodpeckers don't like nuts. Everyone loves Planner's nuts. Fresh roasted taste. And, surprisingly, they're cholesterol-free.
Nice. Could have used a bird like that in wood shop. Planners, relax, go nuts. <laughs> When the male is in pursuit of the female, the slightest scent of unpleasantness may send the female running. Thus, right guard clear gel or clear stick. Powerful protection from odor and wetness that glides on clear. Right guard. Anything less would be uncivilized. They say fruit is good for your body. Everybody loves fruit. The new t-shirt collection from Fruit. Every style, every color, even the classic white. Everybody, Everybody. Loves Fruit of the Loom. Grab a bunch. The diamond engagement ring. How else could two months' salary last forever? A diamond is forever. De Beers. Welcome back, you punks. Well, the computer geeks are the winners, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. They've been pushed around long enough. You have won a total of $2,900, which is, of course, ours to graciously give you. Now, I will ask you one question. If you get it right, you'll win $1,000. If you get it wrong, the lifeguards will have a chance to answer it. But let me ask you this, computer people. What are you going to spend your, your money on? <clears throat> <laughs> okay then you know sometimes you try to break the stereotype and it just won't break here are the two subjects you may choose from high energy particle research or hardware you have a minute to decide gentlemen well not really a minute just a few seconds hardware hardware okay You'll have 10 seconds to confer, and then I must have your answer. Here we go. Containing over 18,000 vacuum tubes, what is the full name of the first large-scale general-purpose digital computer built by John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert in 1946? You have 10 seconds to decide. A lot of talk about porn on the internet. Let me tell you guys something. A man doesn't need a computer to get off. Just leave a guy alone in a room, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't really need all the fancy stuff. <laughs> all right, you boys. Did you come up with an answer? We did. Which is? Our answer is Unovac. Mm, I'm afraid I can't take that one, man. Unovac one. No, I, and there's no amending the answer either. <laughs> this isn't the show Second Chances. <laughs> all right, lifeguards. This one will test your metal. I'll read it again, and you'll have five seconds. Containing over 18,000 vacuum tubes, what is the full name of the first large-scale general-purpose digital computer built by John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert in 1946? And why was he named J. Presper Eckert? Okay, lifeguards, any idea? Uh, universal vacuum computer? Well, uh, you know, two outstanding guesses. I'm afraid the answer is ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. Crushing disappointment, and yet spirits are lifted because you still have your money, and that's how the show ends, everybody. That's how we go. Until next time, with Mick Jagger's lip take on Paula Jones. Peace out. may also receive an Olympus microcassette recorder with rechargeable AC adapter. Simple and versatile, this recorder makes sure the message is always clear. Perfect for business or anytime, anyplace, anywhere from Olympus. Promotional consideration provided by America Online 4.0. The easiest just got easier. AOL has got it all. Email, internet, and a whole lot more. Where else are you going to find all this? America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. New Viractin, a penetrating breakthrough for cold sores. Viractin penetrates to the core of the sore to work like no other medicine. New penetrating Viractin.
I'm Ben Stein. I'm Jimmy 